Hello, welcome to Easy English. Today, I want to find out who the people of Brighton think are the best British band. Let's go. Tell me uh, who is your favourite British band? My favourite British band is Pink Floyd, definitely. I, I suppose uh, I'd want to say, yeah, Led Zeppelin. Who, in your opinion, is the best British band? Oh. Well, um... We'll say the Stones. Well, yeah, I would really, because it's my age. The Stones, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, little Mix, babies, come on, they uh, they can't be they can't be anywhere else. <laughs> little Mix. <laughs> little Mix. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Mm. I think Catfish and the Bottleman. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Who is your favourite British band or artist? Um, I th so I've only just checked to make sure they are. It's the Architect. The Architect. And funny enough, I've just been told they're from Brighton. Which I didn't know. Oh, really? This is where we are, yeah. Oh, there you go, perfect. Led Zeppelin would probably be. Ah, okay. Um, thinking of like an obvious British band that, that I love, because I do love a lot of American music. That's. Okay. Yeah. Probably Led Zeppelin. Who is your favourite British artist or band? Uh, so, as a 50 year old, uh, I'm into dad rock probably. Uh, so, a band called Thunder uh, that are an underrated rock band. They did all right in the 90s. Right. Um, were probably just about to break big and then grunge came along and basically uh, ruined their chances because all of a sudden everyone wanted bands like Nirvana rather than classic rock. Yeah, are you looking, are you looking for like a, an academic examination of past and present across genres or do you just want, who's my, who's my favourite artist? Yeah, essentially it's, I don't need to, I don't need to hear like the Beatles or the Rolling Stones. <laughs> everyone said that, have they? <laughs> We all know the truth. Uh, my favourite band are the Stone Roses. Um, okay. They just, uh, I mean, I guess that everyone had the same experience with their favourite artists, weren't they? For me, they they penetrate something so, like, deep in me. Yeah. It feels, when I'm listening, I feel like I've written everything they're doing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Dave Gilmore is my hero. He's a guitarist. Um, and he does like a lot of the vocals as well, well did a lot of the vocals, um, especially on the later stuff. Um, and he's just known as one of the best guitarists in the world. I think he is the best guitarist in the world. Um, and I'm a guitarist as well. So he's my hero. Um, and everything he touches is gold, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I suppose I'd want to say Led Zeppelin, yeah. Nice. Um, and I suppose the reasons for that is that Jimmy Page uh, a great guitarist, I mean, he's a complete druggie as well, which is a bit unfortunate <laughs> because you had to get him on a good night or other times you wouldn't get him on a good night, you know. Mm. But uh, he introduced a lot of acoustic guitar in, into the Zeppelin stuff. Yeah. And uh, before then, I suppose I was maybe, when, when was I in a band? When I was 14, 14 to 20, and then I thought, I'm not making any money. I'm going to have to get a proper job. Um but I hadn't played acoustic before then. I just played electric guitars, you know. Right. And uh, he introduced uh, acoustic guitar to me. So that's probably why I thought they, they, they were the top band. This video is sponsored by italki, the site that allows you to find online language teachers for one-on-one -on -one tutoring. As a new user, you'll get $10 in italki credits after your first lesson if you register using the link go to italki.com forward slash easy English. If you don't like reading complicated language books or listening to pre-recorded audio courses, then italki is for you. You'll get to practice your conversational skills under different real-world scenarios, as speaking with humans is the best way to learn a language. You can customise your lessons to cater for your learning needs and interests and the one-on-one -on -one lessons provide you undivided attention with teachers at your preferred time, whether you're at home, at the airport or at your local park, you have complete access. So head on over to italki with this link, go.italki.com forward slash easy English to start your first lesson and get $10 in lesson credits. Was it like a, a choice of like, do you, are you a Beatles fan or is that kind of yeah, how it was? Yeah, well, we liked both, didn't we? But mm. I, th I preferred the uh, Stones, but no, I, I think was, I was a Beatles. she was more Beatles. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. As I've got older, I've appreciated the Rolling Stones music more. The more sort of guitar, yeah. guitar music. Mm. Mm. I see. And, and then there's characters, I think. They, yeah. they're, they're, they're characters and they're long lasting. <clears throat> where the, the Beatles finished earlier, yeah. whereas the Rolling Stones have kept going and they're still our age. 
Yeah, yeah. And I they're see. still keep going and they've still got all that energy. So you've got that interest still. Mainly because the music remind me, reminds you of a good time, like seeing them live with my girlfriend Kim over there. You want to get her in? <laughs> no, just like, I like the kind of indie music. Okay. They're really good live. And yeah, a lot of their songs just remind me of good times. Why are they Zeppelin? Um, um, consistently just brilliant songwriters and performers. And I'm a drummer and John Bonham, as if, yeah, as you prob- probably might be aware, is, yeah. is a bit of a... Is a bit of a god in the, uh, the drama community. Yeah, yeah, he kind um, of invented so, things, right, in the drumming world, right? Y- yeah, the styles of playing for sure. Great. for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would say probably that's a big question, but probably let it. <laughs> and do you like it because kind of of the drumming influence it had on you when you were becoming a drummer? Yeah, yeah. I am um, one of the first bands that I ever started playing in as um as when I was a bit younger was was playing a lot of Led Zeppelin as well so that was like a huge influence on me at the time kind of when I started gigging as well and what is it about the band that you like so much uh so originally I didn't like the singer's voice but it I got used to it and it grew on me um I suppose as with a lot of things the age that I got into them um I was getting into music they've sort of grown with me um, their style of music has stayed fairly standard. Um, so I suppose you just sort of, it, it takes me back to my youth. Right. Ah, there's like a reminiscence. I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why, why did they bring this out of you? What is it about them which helps you? It's a sound. It's a sound they make, which to me is it's religious. It's, it's like, it's a, it's, a, it's a religious sound. Ian Brown but, would love but, you saying but, but just in like, in, in, in the, coolest way possible and again that's another word which is like naff but it's perfect isn't it <laughs> I think Ian, Ian Brown would love to hear that his music is like almost like a religious experience I like the idea that Ian Brown would like to hear what I'm saying <laughs> say that you never know you never know <laughs> what is it about like kind of that I suppose it's like 70s 80s yeah, period that know. is it's, somehow it's, produced more British music it's yeah. even, it was real music wasn't it, it they, yeah. they wrote it they sang it they produced it Played instruments, didn't they? They play their own instruments. It was, it's real. Some of the bands today seem artificially put together. Yeah, true. One Night Wonders, you know, with the X Factor and all the rest mm. of it. There are stars. Whereas the other, these groups have grafted. They've gone all through yeah. sort of the ranks and really made their name for themselves. If you had to give someone a guided tour of Catfish and the Bottom Men, what song would you, or album would you recommend they listen to first? <sighs> Jeez, I'm going back now. I seem like a shit fan because I don't know the name of the albums. <laughs> That's my I know there's a peacock on the album cover. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I did the big one's Kathleen. Um, pardon? All right. I'm going blank now. Too much pressure. Yeah. Uh, oh God. Kathleen and an album with a peacock on the cover. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the t-shirt and everything. But... <laughs> There's a lot of different sounds in Pink Floyd. I like the more mellow, guitar-y stuff. If you go early, it's all weird, and which is awesome as well. But um, yeah. I prefer the, like, Wish You Were Here, Comfortably Numb, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, it's just a beautiful sound. It's just, it's so clean and perfectly played. <laughs> I would say listen to the first two albums, <laughs> <laughs> which I know isn't narrowing it down very much, but... The first two albums are just wall to wall incredible. So do that. You've got you've got the time, do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode. For me, the best British band has to be Oasis. I grew up in the 90s and they just dominated my life and made me want to pick up a guitar. And also they combined elements of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin, which is just the best combination you can have in a band. Uh, but let me know who your favourite British band are in the comments below and we'll see you next week. Bye.